guys and Latte and welcome back to my review series about indie games. It's, I think it's Dazzling Latte's indie picks. I have not been, I have not been keeping up with the series. Anyways, a new episode. Um, okay, so first game I was emailed by the developer, WRF Studios, um, eh, to like try out their, try out this person's game, like, they're, they're the person that made it. Like, it's just one person that made this game. And I can't even believe that, oh my gosh. But anyways, it's called Lost City of Vampires, and um, it has a challenging but immersive atmosphere. I played for like two hours and did not even notice it was that long. Um, I like the voice acting. It was very ominous. And, um, five out of five vampires being hunted. That's my rating for it. Um, yeah, my laptop, it doesn't handle a lot of, like, newer, like, really, like, graphically, like, anything that's more, the graphics are more, <laughs> my laptop, it's, it's a bit laggy, but, um, you know, like, as far as, like, indie games and stuff like that, I always have problems with that. But, I could set the settings down to low, and I really like that. I could, like, turn down the settings a bit so I could still play it. And it does support playing on a controller. I find it easier to play on a controller. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I'm so easy to play. Easy? Easy? Easy. Used to. I'm so used to playing on an Xbox. So... Like, I'm, I'm used to, like, using my controller to play video games, and it's just easier that way, so I I like that that is a thing that you could, you could uh, set up, um, like, in the controls, you can actually set that up. So, that is my review of Lost City of Vampires. I had so much fun playing it. It's so challenging. Um, there's so much to explore. Like, there's so many different items that you can get, and then, like... <laughs> it, like each time your your items reset so you don't have any items or anything and then you go out and you explore and then you collect items and then you kill these like monsters and stuff and it's fun okay you could even use zombies <laughs> like there's zombies that like help you hunt vampire hunt vampires anyways next game next game is Faithful friend. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts about this, uh, and this, and it's mostly about the dog. Okay, first, okay, this stuff, this stuff isn't about the dog, but like I, I typed in beautiful floors. I don't know. I like the floors. The, 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 the like the color of the wood. It's just it's beautiful. I don't know why. I just it was a thought in my head. Um, the apartment is creepy, like, the way it's lighted, and I don't like it. I don't like it. That bathroom? Ugh. Um, okay, the dog is adorable. Can't pet the dog. Minus five points for that one. But I might have spent five minutes trying to pet the dog. Um, I want to pet the dog. Why can't I pet the dog? <laughs> it's in my notes. <laughs> I'm... I wanted to throw a toilet at a certain sinister being. You're gonna find out when you play the game. That's, <laughs> that's Oh, I, I wanted to throw a toilet out the window at some point. <laughs> so yeah, you can get multiple endings. I think it's only two endings. Um and I got both of them and they're both disturbing. <laughs> really disturbing. So I do recommend you play it. Um, <laughs> just know it's disturbing. It's, and it almost made me cry. <laughs> it kind of, it was just like, ooh, ooh. But um, yeah, I wish I could pet the dog. That's, that's my main thought about this is like, why can't I pet the dog? Like, so, yeah. Oh, and I don't know. I got my notes right here. I got my notes right here. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I was also, I was also emailed by the developer about this one. Okay, so yeah. I want to pet the dog. <laughs> so, that was this episode. And I hope you enjoyed. And for now, I have to go. But until the next time, some silly to you and your pirate crew. Oh, wait. I didn't write. I didn't write this. Four out of five dogs that I can pet. <laughs> okay.
gonna go now. I'm gonna go now.